What's up everyone? I'm de-planing a Delta flight from LaGuardia yeah. Airport. Hi. Bye. Bye. It was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. I'll be heading to downtown Miami via public transportation. Delta takes their cleanliness very seriously. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Have, Have a safe day. flight home. We're at the jet bridge now, and I need to make my way over to the airport entrance. Well, actually, I could, uh, I need to make my way through the terminal to the MIA mover. Oh, this is all automatic. Hey. Let's see where I need to go now. This is, uh, the H gates. Let me use the restroom and I'll resume this video. Right, let's make our way to the exit. I recorded this video on Monday, February 13th, 2023. Time right now is 7.08 p.m. and it's 67 Fahrenheit, 19 Celsius. Our plane actually landed a lot earlier, but since I was at the back of the plane, it took a little bit of time to deplane. Looks like I'm gonna need to make my way over here. We're pretty much of the far end of this H uh, gate area. And I can take a car service to downtown Miami, but I'm opting for public transit today. This route involves taking the airport MIA mover to the rental car center and tri-rail station, and then taking the Miami Metro Rail. Nathan's famous hot dogs is still open. Actually, it's not. They roped off the uh, register area. They're busy cleaning the grill now. Oh, that's nice. Accidents happen. But uh, if you have to go, you have to go, right? There's no dirt or grass here. Lots of dogs here in this airport. Then again, if I was a dog and I was expecting to go on a flight knowing that I'd probably be locked in a compartment, a cargo area, I might consider using the restroom here too. Let's 
So baggage claim and ground transportation is this way to the right. I actually... Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Bye. Recognize in the airport. Let's see here. Exit is this way. I could uh, connect to the J concourse this way. It's another completely different side of the airport. Exit only. Once I pass this point, I can't re enter. So the MIA mover, we need to follow the uh, pathway here. I remember actually getting a little bit lost to get to this MIA mover the last time I uh, took it. It's to the right here. I think I went up the elevator to get there. The thing is with this uh, people mover is that there's only one entrance you can get to it from the airport. And uh, you have to walk over to that central area wherever you are in the airport and that could take a while. So basically, I'm here and I need to make my way here. So I actually need to get closer to uh, the G area. Or I can exit maybe and then go through that way. I haven't tried it. Yeah, I think I should go <clears throat> this way. for the MIA mover. Unless there's a way that you can access it from, uh, from the ground level. Take elevator to level three, okay. So it does recommend you to take the elevator. I could take the escalator though. Let's do that. Use elevators to level three. It's possible that there's no escalator to level three. Oh, right here. This is convenient, there's some um, moving walkways here.
I just looked over to my left here. This is actually level three. Still have a little while to go. This is the last moving walkway I need to take. <laughs> MIE Mover to Rental Park Center and Metro Rail, Metro Bus, Tri Rail. Greyhound and Megabus. There's an interesting moving walkway in that uh, the surface is like rubbery and very bouncy compared to the other one, which was metal. You can kind of see it's like. Let's hope I catch this metro rail at a good time because um, I think at this hour the metro rail can actually take up to 30 minutes to depart. So if we catch it at a bad time, then we're going to need to wait. MIA mover. I think this people mover, it uh, arrives every two minutes. I think I see one arriving now. To get to downtown Miami from here will only cost two dollars and twenty-five cents. I've also I've also shown how to get to Miami Beach from the airport with public transportation, but in that video I had some really unlucky timing with the bus connection. So just uh, keep that in mind if you ever decide to take public transit. It may or may not be reliable. I find that the trains generally have a better schedule and reliability than the buses. Only two stops on this, the MIA station and the central station. We're going to the central station. Very limited seating available. There was one time I took this and the air conditioning wasn't working in one of the cars. Doors are closing. Please stand clear of the doors. Las puertas están cerrando. Por favor, manténgase alejado de las puertas. 
Train is departing. Please hold on to handrail and luggage carts. Tren se aleja. Por favor, se acerca a los pasamanos y los carritos de equipaje. Next stop is Randall Park Center. Metro Rail. Metro Bus and Tri Rail. Próxima parada es el centro de alquiler de autos. Metrorail. Metro Bus y Trirami. Quite a distance to the uh, central station. Rental Car Center, Metro Rail, Metro Bus and Tri Rail. Please take all your belongings and watch your step as you exit. Llegando al centro de alquiler de autos, Metro Rail, Metro Bus y Trirami. Por favor, no olvide sus pertenencias y tenga cuidado al salir. Approaching Rental Car Center, Metro Rail, Metro Bus and Tri Rail. Please take all your belongings and watch your step as you exit. Llegando al centro de alquiler de autos, Metro Rail, Metro Bus y Trirami. Por favor, no olvide sus pertenencias y tenga cuidado al salir. This is Randall Park Center, Metro Rail, Metro Bus and Tri Rail. Please take all your belongings and watch your step as you exit. Este es el centro de alquiler de autos, Metro Rail, Metro Bus y Trirami. Por favor, no olvide sus Now you can also y use this station to catch the tri rail, which is a commuter Center, commuter Metro, rail, Metro to further stops north. Rental car center is to the left, and the public transit options are to the right here. Now, in order to pay for this metro rail, it's very easy. I would just recommend getting a uh, tappable credit or debit card and you just put it up to the reader but um, you can also use the machine and pay for a ticket that way Automatic door. The uh, entrance is that way. These people are busy with the payment machine. We don't need to do that. Since I just tap my card on the reader. And it lets me through. 225 fare, paid. Very easy. And there is no train in the station, so we're going to have to end up waiting. The 
let's see what this message says. Thank you for riding Metro Rail. It'll arrive on this platform. Train's coming. Oh, the conductor said this train's out of service. It'll be on the other side. Hopefully the other train comes soon. At least taking public transportation from the airport is an option. Some places do it better than others. the train off of that side now.
stop. There's a train coming. Once this train gets moving, it should be a relatively quick ride to downtown. see how long it takes for this train to uh, to leave now what happened people are leaving Okay. I really don't understand what's going on. Now there's outer service on the other side. Now it's outer service over here.
for your safety, please do not sit, stand, walk, or lean on the yellow strip located on the edge of the platform. For your safety, please stand behind the yellow tag tiles located on the edge of the platform. Thank you for your cooperation. Here's our train. Took a while to come. Spacious train. Seems like the walls of this one could use a little bit of cleaning though, but overall seems pretty clean. Maybe some light mopping. Getting off at the government center station and then changing to the metro mover. Air conditioned train.
destination is further north from here, then you're able to tra change to the Green Line Metro Rail at the station to Palmetto. Otherwise, the green and orange lines merge at this station to run the same route to Dayton South. I think we have like four or five more stops left until Government Center. Announcements seem to be a little bit off on this train. Three more stops and then we transfer. Area. 
arrived at the government center station. Now I need to transfer to the Metro Mover to Bayfront Park. I'll be taking the Omni Loop of the Metro Mover. I could take the Inner Loop too, but it's down a level and I find it's a little bit more of a challenge to get to. And this person did not stop at the right area on the platform, so that's a move up. Is 
the staircase to go down. Omni and Rickle loops to the left. What is going on here? <laughs> it is completely dark here. The lights aren't working. All right, Omni and Brickle loops. Oh, there's the Omni loop. It's arriving. Okay. At least this one came on time. All right. So I got onto the Metro Mover and I got stopped by Miami Dade Transit Security. They told me I couldn't use a tripod, so I took my phone off the gimbal and had to hold it by hand. a few stops to Bayfront Park. Just two more stops. Down there is Brickle, the Brickle City Center. I do a lot of point of view, like travel videos and walk your neighborhood and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been to New York, LA, Taiwan. Yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah. Hopefully, I get to New York in the next two months. I just want to take a day trip. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful there. A little bit cold though, but you get used to it. I'm going to be there then though. Yeah. Hop on, hop on. It's exciting to hop on that one. Yeah. You'll be overwhelmed for a day there. It's like you look up with skyscrapers everywhere. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Alright, have a good night. So one more stop and I'll be getting off Bayfront Park Station. Bayfront Park Station. Continental Hotel and Bayfront Park. And 
to street level. And that is my video. I want to thank you so much for watching this video on how to get from the airport to downtown Miami. It did take a lot longer than I thought because of the orange line not coming right away. But I got here and it was only 225. But I appreciate the support. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye everyone. Take it easy.